Those of you that follow our blogs on a regular basis know that we've been doing a series on uh, what we're trying to accomplish when we get invited into uh, organizations to help influence their direction, influence their culture, influence their leadership development. And we do that by both working in team settings and working in individual settings. And I think my colleagues at North Group would agree that one of the greatest privileges we get is the opportunity to sit down one-on-one -on -one with a leader and help them get better at their craft. Their craft being leadership, their craft being influencing other people uh, toward better behavior, if you will, better performance for the organization, and a better focus on accomplishing the mission of that, that organization. It's just a real privilege to be able to sit down and, uh, and work with people and helping them get better. And one of the things we work on, I should say, the primary thing we work on uh, when we start a, a new leadership development process is the idea of developing leadership self-awareness. Now, this is not a new concept. Uh, everybody's pretty much aware of the idea of, uh, of self-awareness, of getting to know yourself better. But I want to emphasize that the development of a greater sense of self-awareness is not a selfish endeavor for a leader. It is actually just the opposite. The idea of creating greater self-awareness is really all about adjusting my behavior for the benefit of other people so that they can behave better, so that they can perform better, so that we can behave, perform more in alignment with the organizational mission and goals. I was thinking of an example, I'll use a hypothetical example here and we'll, we'll call the guy in this example um, Roger, for lack of a better term. Well, We've discovered through working with, with this guy, we're hypothetically calling Roger, that he has an issue with getting annoyed really easily. He, he gets annoyed when people don't do the things he thinks they should do. He gets annoyed when things don't work out the way he thinks they should work out. And when he gets annoyed, he doesn't interact well with people. He doesn't influence people in the way that he wants to influence them. And uh, he creates something in the organization he doesn't want to create. So we're trying to help Roger get a hold of this idea of what happens when he gets annoyed. And we're trying to move his awareness of that more into real time. The idea that this hypothetical guy we're talking about, Roger, that he can begin to understand and maybe even feel when he's starting to get annoyed and he can get a hold of that so that he can push that to the side and replace it with behaviors that help other people grow, that help teams grow, and help the organization uh, get closer to accomplishing its organizational mission. So this whole idea of focusing on leadership self-awareness is really, really challenging, but it's also a great privilege when we get the opportunity to help other people get better at their leadership craft.